Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of TypeScript, we will talk about public and private access modifiers. So, you maybe are just thinking that why we are not talking about protected access modifiers. See, we will learn them just after some videos because for that we have to knowledge of uh, inheritance and all. And uh, in this series, till now we did not learn uh, inheritance and all. So, just after some videos, we will just go for that. But in this video, we will focus only on public and private access modifiers. All right. So our first question will be what are the access modifiers, why we need them. And after that, we will check example for public and private access modifiers both. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions. So let's start with the first question. What are the access modifiers? Keep in mind, this is not a feature of TypeScript. Basically, this is the concept of a object oriented programming you can find these access modifiers in c in java in php in any programming language that support object oriented concept second thing access modifiers are basically define the accessibility of uh, functions and properties which are defined inside the class so let's say if a function or a property have the uh, public access modifier that means you can access it inside the class outside the class or anywhere you can access it and uh, if a property have just uh, uh, private access that time you can access this property only inside the class on itself right so now let's see why we need them so for that i will just make an example so that you can understand it better so let's say we have a class with the name of uh, users and it have a property uh, and property name is basically name and by default this is blank and after that we have a function its name is let's say set name and it have a parameter with the name and inside it we can uh, set our uh, this name property which is this dot name so why we just use here this this means this class so this and name property means we are talking about that name name property which is the uh, global property inside global name inside the user because here we have two type of name one is global second one is name which is coming from parameter right so we will assign our parameter to our uh, global name property with the help of this and after that uh, let's say we have another function to display name and uh, let's simply put here console dot log this dot name fine there is a no issue we learned that how we can create functions around in last video so they are really easy and after that we created a object which is let's say u1 for user classes and this is basically a new object now let's put here u1 dot set name and name let's say Peter and after that we can just get it we just write here let's say some code our logic whatever you want to write here and after that we just get it like u1 dot display name and uh, this file is already uh, imported inside the index.js so we can just check out the, its output which is uh, app.js right uh, we know that app.ts is basically converted in the app.js and uh, this is connected with the index page so if we are just checking its output here you can see that we are getting peter which is perfectly fine so we did not define here any access modifier with this property and functions that means they are publicly accessible right and that means they are public uh, access modifiers so within that time, because let's say we have a huge lines of code, 50, uh, 40, and maybe 100 lines of code, and by mistakely we just done here v1 dot name is uh, other user, or we just put here some other things, and now if you want to check it, you will find that the name is actually other user. But what this the name should be done here, Peter. So this is actually you can say that we done it, done it with the by mistake or maybe with, by the intentionally to the uh, 
provide the bug or maybe for the uh, other reasons any reason can be happen here but to prevent these kind of cases what we can do here we can just simply put here our name is private now this property is basically name property is a private property or you can say that this have a private access modifier and after that whenever we are trying to compile it we are just getting here property name is private and only accessible within the class so we have to remove it now we can just do it right and now if you want to just get the output this is working perfectly fine right so now we just learned that how we can create a property uh, with the you can see that how we can define a private property so how we can make a function privately so for that let me just give you one more example so let's say we have a function with the name of uh, display uh, name length yeah after that we just simply define here this console and uh, we are just getting here length so let's put here length right so now we can just access it we can access it outside our uh, you can say that uh, class also because uh, this is basically a public function like this and now whenever we are getting the output you can see the we are just getting our 5 so how we can make it private and how we can use it inside our class so for just make it private we just need to put here private function and now we cannot just use it like this now you can see that property display name length so here you might be confused that why it's showing the property why not just telling that this is a function see whenever we are defining anything inside a class TypeScript consider it as a property it can be a function it can be a property anything right so don't worry about this uh, property keyword after that is private and only accessible within this class so what we can do here we can just access it only inside our uh, class so now just use it like this and replace u1 with the this keyword and now you can see that there is no error and still our output is same so with that way we can define public access modifier also and private access modifier also so the interview question which is uh, first two are really important and they can ask that how many types of uh, access modifier we have so the answer will be three not two actually public private and protected protected we will learn in the upcoming videos after that what are the access modifiers we just discussed that why we need it they can ask for example and you can give the same example as we discussed here thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel